What's up boys and welcome to the first official YouTube video. So I did actually record this whole video like 10 minutes ago, but I was on mute. But hey, it is what it is. So I thought I'd start this YouTube channel by making a video about one of the most basic concepts in trading. One of the things you have to know before jumping onto the charts. And that is, where is liquidity and where I spot liquidity? What is the QTC way of spotting liquidity? What have I realized is the best way to spot liquidity through all my recent years of trading? I really hope you guys find this video valuable and that you get something out of it. But yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so we have beautiful, sexy gold price action here. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna draw it out for you guys and then I'm gonna find examples in the charts after. We have our support and resistance and we have our price action. So how do you spot liquidity? Where is liquidity? The first question you gotta ask is where did you come from? If you came from below, liquidity will be below the range. If you came from above, liquidity will be above the range. Now I won't really go into detail why that is the case, but all of that will be in my course. But yeah, like I said, come from above, liquidity is above, come from below, liquidity is below. Pretty simple. So what does this mean? Liquidity has a certain gravitational pull towards it. So if, if liquidity is placed above here, this will have some sort of, this will have a pull, right? Same thing if liquidity came from below. So what does this entail? This means that if you get a breakout without having grabbed liquidity first, we will see something like this, aka a fake out. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is a result of you not coming down and breaking the lows and grabbing liquidity first. And this works the other way around as well. Now, since you know where liquidity is, you could easily look for plays. So if you haven't break, broken the lows yet, you could look for a fake out, break back into range to drive down, or you could wait for price to grab liquidity and then take the breakout above. Pretty simple concept. Now, I won't go to further detail than this because I know most people don't want to go that deep. But if you feel like you do want to go deeper into this, everything will be in my course. But yeah, let's now go down here and find some examples of this. Example number one, price came down very quickly. Also, one thing that you got to remember is so the faster price moves to a certain area, the stronger the liquidity pool will be. So we see here that price moved very fast down and we started consolidating a little bit. We broke the highs and then once we broke below back back below range, we drove. Pretty simple, right? Pretty simple here. Came down, which means that liquidity will be around these areas, right? Since liquidity is around these areas, you came up, tapped liquidity, and then once you closed back below range, you could see it, you saw a drive down. Example number two. You came up very quickly here on price. You came up very quickly here on price. You have your ranges. <clears throat> ranges have been formed. Now, where is liquidity? By this time, you should know where liquidity is. I'll give you five seconds to think about it. <clears throat> Good. Liquidity is below, right? Why? Because you came from below. Since you came from below, liquidity will be below, right? So liquidity is below. Now, you, you got a breakout here, but you got faked out. This is where all the noobs lose their money and their wife divorces them. But hey, one year ago, I would have done the same mistake. That's why we're here. That's why we're learning. Now, why did you get faked out? Why didn't you get a breakout and drive? Why didn't you drive off of this breakout out of range? I'll, I'll give you another five seconds to answer that. All right. The reason they got a fake out is because you did not grab liquidity below. You did not grab liquidity below first, which means you have a downwards pull, stopping you from being able to drive up. So after you grab liquidity down here and everybody that bought here got stopped out, you could then finally break out and start driving. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is one of the ways which I spot liquidity and I avoid fake outs. Now I want this channel to be beginner friendly. That's why I didn't go deep but I will go deeper and talk more about this in my course. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you felt like you got value out of it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you feel like you really want to take trading serious and you don't just have that 3 a.m. motivation, but you really want to take this seriously and do something with it, I highly recommend that you join my community QTC. Link in bio for that. I also live stream my trading every single weekday New York session, which is also a great place to learn in real time and ask your questions. But yeah, boys, that's it for my first video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you got some value out of it. I'll see you boys in the next video. Take care.